Hey everybody, how you all doing? I haven't probably released a video in quite a while, but I thought I'd have to post this. I've always vowed that I would post if I uh, uh, finished the bloody FTL on the last, what do you call it, the last stand. And uh, one of my mates actually did it out of our group is the first one, so I was like, oh, screw this. I'm going to have to get a win, so I've been farming it a little bit, about three or four first buddy sector fails, but uh, as you'll see, we had a bit of success, so I thought, oh, why not, I'll throw it up as a follow-up to the easy mode one I did. Um, you can see here I've got the Taurus, I've pretty much maxed out shields and I'm one-off engines, because this is the way I love to run the Taurus. A lot of people don't like it, but personally I love it. Um, just try and get your shields up, get your evasion up to heaps, which is great for the last boss because it means you just miss everything that the little bugger throws to throw at you. And yeah, what I've lacked previously in some of these attempts is a bit of firepower, so I pretty much just bought any missile I could find, and as luck would have it, I had Pegasus there. So I'm just going through the old motions of um, double rock buddy teleporter crew. He's gone over to down the missiles first, then he'll go over and do the the beam and then the uh, so forth and so forth. Doesn't really matter if you can evade it all. Um, this first one's pretty much GG as long as you can get people over there killing the crew and destroying the uh, destroying the the missiles. Yeah, so this first one down. You know, as you can see, I've got an insanely NG rich crew which helps for all the repairs and that. But that was just the way uh, the way the dice rolled as I as I progressed through. There wasn't too many problems which is amazing, just uh, sort of ran from the battles I couldn't run from and teleported in and took the ships to the ones that I could and yeah, it was pretty easy. Managed to get my level 4 shields up, got enough um, dough to do it in, in bloody sector, what do you call it, in normal mode, which is a, insane in itself, but you know, there you go. I uh, just went with a build that relied on not taking much damage, so I mean I had ion cannon down um, their weapons, and that's pretty much all I did through the whole um, run was just iron, con iron cannon weapons of priority, and then just slowly wear them down. And trust me, it's painful. This took hours to get to here, but uh, if you want to win it, I guess uh, with that tactic, this is what you got to bear with. Um, you know, so it is slugging away. First, the first phase of the boss fight's pretty. Uh, pretty simple once you get into a bit of a rhythm and when you again once you take down the weapons that's it so once these first two weapons are down that's it because the beam weapon's not going to do anything the iron cannons aren't going to do anything and yeah you just sort of sit there you heal up a bit wait for the bloody teleporter to run out i put a second stage in the teleporter anticipating a bit of uh, slowness but yeah um while we're doing this uh, sorry if we haven't posted anything in like 100 years um, but you know, I just uh, had other commitments on and NOS had other things going on and yeah, I don't know, probably could have spent a bit more time on it and picked up heaps of subs in my absence which was pretty nice but uh, I don't know, maybe this for the inspiration to start making some more vids or something, we'll see how we go. Um, been playing a bit of Terraria lately, a bit of a Minecraft, I don't know. Waiting for, uh, waiting for to get a bloody Hearthstone beta key. Everyone's got one except me, which kind of sucks. But you know, that's how it rolls. I can survive. So yeah, we'll keep going through this bloody limit. At this point, I'm starting to think about, okay, I want to down this. I want to um, sort of drill this boss down. And the tactic you'll see me implement here is one where I'm trying to take out as many of his crew as possible in anticipation of the final stage for all little bastards. Um, teleport over. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to try and draw the crew into the wing. The wings get that, that get destroyed. So in this phase, I'll as I'm taking down the boss, I'll focus down the cloaking and the doors, and then when I'm on the other side, I'll focus down the drones and the sensors, so that once we get to the final phase and the crew starts coming over, you might get one zero or two but the point is you're not going to get ten bloody crew which is who's on there so yeah now it's just a matter of just uh, eking the bastard down yeah and I decided to go with the Pegasus here because I was going to be waiting a hundred years for the the stage one anti ship to actually nail him down if he even got any hits on him um, which is pretty unlikely 
So I've sort of gone with here, what am I going to do here? And in the end, I decide to go for the cloak so I can draw the, draw the crew in. I'm just going to park my teleporter crew at this stage because there's no point with the door control being up and my being OP. Yeah, I hope everyone else has been doing all right. Um, there's been heaps of stuff coming this year. It's been a pretty good time for indie developers. It's been insane, as you've probably seen. You know, it's just one great indie game after another coming out. It uh, kind of really shows that you don't need to be a AAA game to sort of drag the people in. Although then you've got something like GTA 5 that come out, which was awesome. And they you know, made some insane amount of money, $800 million in the first day or something insane, but... Whatever. That aside, it hasn't been much um, much job for indie indie developers. I mean, you could probably count League of Legends or Dota as AAA, but they're not real. Maybe they are. I guess Valve's pretty big now. So yeah, I was um, hoping that I took down plenty of crew with that. Everyone's safe and more repaired up. In my easy mode run, I interchanged between the repair base and back each time I fought the boss, but the positioning of this was such that I couldn't get at the stupid repair base, so I just had to just chase the boss around, so in the end I've just gone with him from jump to jump, and as you can see from that map there quickly, I'll probably have to just do him three times in a row, so hopefully I don't have to repair too much at the end of this stage. So yeah, it'll be the same again, I'm eye on cannon down... The missiles first, I'll get the guys in there as well to assist and try and disable and take as much, um, you know, as quickly as possible, I guess, with the least amount of hits. My, for my first preference here, I've gone, okay, I don't care about the shields. All I want to do is burn down the, the drone control. Because if I can get a couple of Pegasus missiles into the drone control, the first, um, the way they prioritize the drone control on the boss is that they've got the anti-ship drone first then they're, um, they're ones attacking me and then the ones defending the ship so the idea is to get it down just the ones defending the ship and as luck would have it because I've got the Pegasus missile there it means that it shoots two missiles the the boss's anti-ship missile um, sort of protection thingy protection drone will get one but the other one always gets through and that's fantastic. So it means you can just blast straight through the uh, the missile protection drone. I mean, I also got what is it, fifty percent evade, which is enough that you hardly take any damage from the drones, the drone burst, and all that kind of jazz. Um, so in the end, it was quite a tame tame run, which is insane. But when you get the mix just right, it's it's actually a very easy boss to beat. But what I haven't got here is all the the millions of wipes I've had on the on the guy. Well, not even millions of wipes, because it's a pain to see even get here in normal mode. But yeah, so all these guys just keep wailing away at me. I've got a car. The other thing I've got is because I haven't lost any crew or any of the engine during the run. It means my engine guy, shield guy, weapon guy, pilot, they're all up. Um, with their bloody double ranking, which means that they recharge the shields as quick as they bring them down. Again, it's handy as anything. So when they do this overload thing, it's not even noticeable. I mean, as I was fighting, I was like, hang on, where's the overload? I haven't even seen it. But truth was, it just kind of did nothing. I mean, sure, it gets down like to one or two shields every now and then, but you recover it that quickly that you don't even notice it. So yeah, you know, it keeps fogging away and... I don't know, don't know what else has been going on. Just working like crazy. Same as everyone else, I guess. It's not a... Well, I'm in plenty of people just chilling at home. I know I am right now. But that's because it's like 1 o'clock in the morning and I've got nothing better to do on a bit of leave and play some FTL. And, uh... Yeah. I'm pretty appreciative for all those people who have subscribed. Especially since a lot of you have subscribed when I haven't even been doing any videos. Which is insane. I think I've probably, <laughs> probably doubled my pitiful number of subscribers from um, so the last time I made a video, which is which is kind of nice, and uh, well, it's worked pretty hard on all the other videos, but yeah, uh, it was never for want of enjoying myself, it was just for a bit of time and getting the right atmosphere, I mean, where I live, which is sort of based in a city, it's very hard to even get enough quiet to make a, a decent video in terms of audio quality and things like that, because I'm a bit pedantic when it comes to that kind of stuff. So yeah, what do we got? So I've got me, I've got my teleport crew over there wailing away, 
I guess what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to attract as many crew as possible into these busted areas. Um, yeah, my rock guys took a bit of a hit there, but that was a bit dumb. Um, next time I teleport them back, I try and be a little bit more careful about where I place them because uh, they got pretty owned just then by a couple of missiles to the face, which will tend to do that. Except if you're playing uh, whatever that game was, hooray for airstrikes, uh, mercenaries too, that's what that was. Where you can missile somebody right in the face and it did pretty much nothing if they had a, a piece of rock in front of them. Which is handy if you're a psycho enough to missiling somebody in the face and you're standing right next to them. Um, for some reason there's a bit of pause in the video here. Okay. Yeah, so... This is where I make a bit of an error. I wasn't really watching how much life there was left in the enemy ship and I lost my teleport crew, which was a little bit disappointing. Um, and I kind of panicked when I saw that, but in the end I decided that it wasn't a big loss because the damage had been done and there was a heap of enemy crew in there. I was pretty happy with, um, pretty happy with the strategy. So I sort of looked at my health and looked at everything else and gone, stuff it I'll just fight the boss again I could have bailed from the boss fight and gone up and repaired but I figured that there was a good chance that I was going to get more damaged by that process than I would get repaired um, so the first thing I've done here is I've gone okay he's got the Zoltan shield thing so I'll put away the Pegasus and I'll just get the ion blast going and also I've only got one Pegasus missile left which is a bit of a drama um but yeah, because the Ion Blast 2 counts for 2 and the Ion Blast counts for 1, you're better off just knocking down the Zoltan Shields with your Ion Blasts. Um, and as you can see, only one guy teleported onto my ship. So there was only one guy left on the enemy ship, which is fantastic. Um, and it's sort of at this point where I go, okay, as soon as I get this, um, as soon as I get any teleport crew over there, I'll be able to bring down those missiles, and again, I've, uh, I kind of made a bit of a mistake here. I was still panicking about, um, still panicking about losing my, losing my teleport crew, and I've you know I've left all the bloody doors and windows open and everything, and there's no air anywhere. And I just at this point had to just chill the hell out because I, I'm actually in a really good spot. I mean, I'm looking at the super weapon firing, and it's not doing anything, and I'm going, okay, this actually might be alright. So. Uh, I got a Mantis and an NG because I was just there at the time um, to go over and sort the stuff out. And I think at this point I also decided maybe I should start putting out the fires in my ship and that kind of thing because it was going okay. Um, I mean, if I had any sense, I'd realised by this point that uh, my pilot was dying because he had no air and that kind of jazz, but what do you do? I think, um, I think that was probably the big hint, so I was quite lucky that they hadn't had to have a fight or anything, the teleport crew that is, because, uh, because yeah, they might have been in a bit of strife, but in the end I'd have shut off the, uh, the area that had the big hole in the floor and, uh, gone, okay, this is going alright, and as you can see at this point all I'm going to do now is mop up and beat the boss and easy mode, eh? My little Andy ship drone's going well. Um, yeah, there's a bit of fire everywhere, but I'll just get like a million people onto it and they'll sort it out. I don't know if there's a bonus to NG putting out fire because they're quicker at everything else, but I don't know, spam enough people in there and it seems to do the job. Um, I thought I'd better take out the rest of the stuff that was actually damaging me, but pretty much at this point I'm not taking any damage because I've got no one... Um, there's no weapons on the enemy ship that are, that are hurting me. Um, so pretty much the, the essence of this win was high evasion and burning down the, the second phase, which I think is what I've said before, and I'm, I have never seen a more effective tactic than just uh, gearing yourself towards high evasion and and burst in, burst in second phase, and you're laughing at that point. Um, by this stage, he's dead, and yeah, you know, good game. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. And, uh, you know, I'm very appreciative of any views I get for something that's uh, just a random little video I thought I'd put up to, uh, you know, that I always hoped I would be able to put up if I could actually finish this stupid game. And I left it for 
a pretty long time um, and I got a bit of inspiration to come back and have a go and here we are. So yeah, thank you very much and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye.